Hey, welcome back to the channel, Quick Rips. Today we're gonna to be doing another PSA submission video. I have three boxes here. This box just has one card, one of the biggest cards I've ever submitted. Um, I just got these all back this week. This came back a couple days ago and these came today. A lot of the stuff in here is going to be lower end stuff, a lot of PC cards for myself. But I really wasn't too worried about the grade. I just wanted them slabbed up. I do like the PSA slabs, so you can hate on me all you want for that. But I, I do think they're the only option when it comes to grading. Um, 29 card submission and then one, so a total of 30. Nothing super high end, so kind of I wasn't like super nervous on this submission uh except for this card of course this was a huge card i will save that for last i had some cards come back not gradable which i've never had so let's start there which is kind of weird um they're straight box pulls they weren't like high end but i never had that happen i'm guessing they didn't charge me for it but i've never had that happen um, I think they're all select. All right, so. All right, so this one was just a, one of these was my son's. We just graded these. And I'm actually glad they didn't grade them because the way select prices have dropped, I'm, I'm just kind of glad they didn't even grade them. Saved me the grading fee. But I paid, I think, about 20 bucks a card. I'm a club member or whatever you call it, so. Look, uh, it says minimum size requirement. It was just a CJ Stroud um, select. All right, minimum size requirement. I don't understand why. These are pack pulls, so. Not a single premier level CJ Stroud was able to be graded base and then minimum size requirement. I don't understand. So four cards. They couldn't grade. That's the target version. So I I don't know. I'll compare it to another. I don't know. I'm trying to see if I had another card to compare it to. I have this Anthony Richardson card. Like, uh, it actually does look. You know what? It is smaller. The card's smaller. No way. So this is like a mini card. All the cards I got, they were from Target. Must have been, I must have had a miss case or something. Um, I don't even know how you would know that unless you're comparing it to other cards, but Anyway, it four cards come back as non-gradable. So, oh well. That's the way it goes. No big deal. Uh, I would have been upset if they were kind of big cards. So, a lot, of, like I said, a lot of stuff is thick cards, PC cards, some's for my son. Um, I always like doing these videos. They're fun. I had, I had a couple cool cards in here, but nothing, like I said, nothing crazy. I've already looked at the grades, so I'm not going to be too surprised but i'll go over some of the stuff like i said i'm a huge bills fan i've been collecting bills autos so a lot of this stuff is just to keep so i wasn't like sweating grades on a lot of this stuff and a lot, a lot of these are thick cards so i know i'm not going to get tens on thick cards so uh bruce smith obsidian i bought this on ebay uh for like 20 bucks it's out of 75 uh, i got a nine i'm happy with the nine on a thick card a nine is great so that is good Thurman Thomas, Obsidian, got an 8. You know, they put it in this plastic sleeve. It actually makes it look worse. It, but So that's an orange, and it's to 25. So, got an 8. Andre Reed, Auto, Immortalized, got an 8 to 75. Um, okay. And then this was my son's card. I got him this last year. Um, pretty big card. Josh Allen to 15. Obs um, 
what is this? This is Obsidian Football Auto Patch Auto. Uh, player worn used material too back then in 21, and he got a PSA 8, so he's gonna be excited about that. Pretty sweet. All right, those are just PC things. So this is the only one of these I graded, and I sorted through. I sorted through probably 15 of these, and I picked out the eight. I don't know how it got an eight, but it did. I'm not gonna crack it or anything. Um, this card, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep or sell, is a PC card, but. Um, Pete Rose, living legend. Um, when I was a kid, I don't know, he was a big deal. So I bought this card on whatnot. It's a sleeve, but it's funny, it's the living legend. When I bought it, he was alive and then he passed away. So it's kind of an air card if you think about it. He's no longer a living legend. Um, interesting. But I don't know. I, Pete Rose, when I was a kid, was a big deal. Uh, we'll say that card. That was a bigger one. This was my son's card. I pulled this. Gave it to him. Um, people always say the die cuts don't grade well. I will disagree with them. They grade very well. Uh, PSA 10, Josh Allen to 599. Very cool. So my gem rates are usually really high, but this is not going to be the same because I didn't, I didn't buy cards to gem. I bought cards for PC and I didn't care about the grade so much because these were only like 10, $20 cards. I just wanted the slabs. This card I bought up what not actually to grade. It's a K I love case hits. Case hit, Kenny Pickett. I know he's down right now and not worth much, but I got a 10 on that, so it's definitely worth it. He'll get a chance at some point to play again. I don't know if he'll succeed. Uh, this card surprised me. Joe Burrow, I ripped a case of 2020 Dunruss. I submitted every decent card, and they all jammed except for this one. Got an 8, so don't know why. Uh, this card is a victor. I was hoping to get a 10 on this, but it got a 9. I know top to bottom it's off center. I was just hoping for a 10. It's my favorite ice of victor, the, the orange. So pretty cool. All right, some, some of the cards that I was hoping would gem here. There's, there's the low pop con, count on these. The CJ Stroud die cut club level. People always say the die cuts don't grade well. Well, I, I disagree. Um, I did pretty well. 10 on the die cut. Another 10 die cut. Uh, this was a card I pulled over a year, about a year ago, and I just decided to uh, sub it. Got a 10. Uh, bought this as well, I think on whatnot. Just another case hit by, and um, Blazers grade very well. I think I'm batting 100 on that. Another um, die cut, 10. It's a target, so it didn't have any um, size issues like the other cards, so that I'm thankful for that. This is a card my son pulled. I was hoping to get a 10. He didn't. This was a tie-dye to 25. Wasn't sure if it would gem. I thought it was a 50-50 chance. But he got a nine, so um, that stinks. Another die cut, like I said, 10. They grade really well. One of them did have an issue. I spotted it, but I'm like, I'm going to submit all three because I thought maybe I get a nine on one. Yeah, there it is. You can see it. If you see the, um, see the paper, see the paper sticking out right there. I was thinking that might get me a nine. You can see it. And then the other two were perfect, but I still got a 10 on all, all four die cuts of CJ. Except for the one that was miscut. So die cuts, home run. Mosaic, Wemby. I just graded every Wemby from every set at least once, and I got a 10 on that. So probably shouldn't have graded it, but I'm sure I bet it's, you know, $7 car raw, probably 30 as a slab. So it probably pays for itself, maybe a break even. Not too worried about it. This card, um, I pulled it on my video and it looked clean. And um, gem on that one, so that's been great. This card, um, I thought would eight or nine, honestly. It had a soft 
corner on the bottom. Jalen Hurts Auto to 20. It's a bronze um, certified 2022. So that got a nine. Uh, PC card. I'm going to pay less than 10 bucks for it. Got a 10. These grade pretty well. Uh, they're pretty centered. It's so got a 10 for PC. Another PC card I thought would gem, but it got a nine. Because these, like I said, these grade pretty well. But I'm okay with that. PC. Another PC card coming up. I knew this one would not gem. Uh, I thought we'd get an eight actually because the corners were crappy, but I find like the lower end like that corner is trashed. Look at that corner. There's no way that's a nine. Yeah, it's an eight at best. So I was happy it got a nine to be honest with you. It's out of seventy. No, it's bookend seventy five, seventy five. I don't really care. It's just a PC card. Didn't pay much for it. I love their slabs. Um, and then this is from the twenty twenty set. I just. You know, it was risky to submit these cards because they're so low end. If they don't gem, you lose. But it did gem, so you at least get, you know, it's probably 40 bucks, I'm guessing. Um, then the biggest card of this group, before I get to the next box, was another die cut. People say don't grade die cuts. Case hit, Zay Flowers. This is low pop, probably pop one, I think. Uh, concourse level, Zay Zebra. And he's having a great season. He's their number one receiver. By far, he's their he's Lamar's go-to outside the tight ends and, and Derrick Henry. I mean, he, he's the only receiver he seems to be looking at right now. So super pumped about that. So my ten stack's pretty big. Um, in all honesty, um, I didn't. These two really didn't have a chance of jamming, but I wanted to submit them. This one I thought could jam. Uh, these two I thought would jam, so I missed three. And then not a single one of these I expected to gem. So I, I've been getting pretty good at figuring out how to get a good gem rate. You really just have to take your time. Um, and then here's the big card. It's probably one of the biggest cards. I've. This is the biggest card for me, I think. Yeah, it's the biggest card for sure. This is one of the chase cards, optic chase cards. Outside of hobby, like the nonsense of like the 101s or the golds or the Pandoras. This is like the big optic chase card in my opinion. Um, so I was pumped about this. I was nervous. I will say that I, um, what I've learned with, um, PSA is to, if you have limits, use the limits of the cards, um, appropriately. So if it says, for example, this card could be up to 5,000 grading, do the, the lower level, the $2,500 grading level, just say it's going to be $2,500. Because if it nines, it'll fall into that $2,500 range and you'll save the $100 in grading. And if it tens, they will upgrade you or upcharge you on the grading fee. So, But if you pay the, 20, the, the fee for a $2,500 grading special or just the rate, I'm sorry, for their $5,000 grading, I think it's uh, $225 or something. And at nines, they're not going to refund you the money. So I find it's better to go at the lower level and then get the email for the upcharge. So this one I submitted max $2,500 value. I was praying I wouldn't get the grade until I got the actual um, so CJ Stroud optic downtown. I'm praying I wasn't going to get the grade until I got the email saying they're going to upcharge me. So if you get the grade first, that means it's it's they're not going to upcharge you. So you got a lower grade. So I think it's like a hundred. And, it's expensive with taxes and shipping. It's one hundred sixty-seven dollars to grade this one card without the upcharge. After the upcharge fee, um, I didn't even show me what they charge. And it's two hundred sixty-four dollars to grade the CJ Stroud downtown, and it got a PSA ten. So that's that's huge. I was happy to pay the extra hundred bucks on that one. So I think it's like four thousand dollar card. Thirty. It was five thousand. It keeps falling. I think it's settling in around thirty six to hundred to four thousand. So definitely a huge chase card for me. Who loves downtown? So definitely a cool card um, for sure. Um, so that was everything I submitted. Total of thirty cards. Like I said, four came back. Yeah, four came back. A lot of. A lot of stuff. 
for myself and then a lot of the stuff I'll probably sell as I have no interest in keeping it. I'm not a fan of a lot of those players, but I do like grading cards. So anyway, uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, comments, always appreciated. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more.